Stream's Angular SDK allows you to add chat functionality to your Angular project instantly. In this tutorial, we will look at adding various chat components to an application and customizing them. Before we get started, it is important to note that you can add two different packages to add chat to your project, StreamChat Angular and StreamChat.js. The Angular package is a wrapper around the StreamChat.js package. For most use cases, the component package should be more than enough, but feel free to check out the base package if you need any advanced customization. With that, let's start. First up, we create a new Angular project using the ng-new-project command and name it chat example. Since this is a small example, we will skip the routing module. This project will use SCSS for styling, but you can choose to use CSS instead if you need to. Once the dependencies are installed, we will have a brand new project. Next, add the stream dependencies, StreamChat Angular and StreamChat. We will also add the ngx translate internationalization library. Stream also has a guide in the documentation to set up translation if you already use ngx translate, which I will link in the video description. Once this is done, you should have a basic project ready. We will now add chat capabilities to this base application. To configure the application, go to the app components.ts file. First, we add the stream chat imports from the stream chat angular package. Then, we can define the base app component and add some configuration data in the constructor, including the API key, user ID, and user token. Note that in the real world, this data should be pulled from your backend instead of being hard coded, but for this example, we will stick to a single static user. The chat service then connects the user created from the configuration. We will also add an on init function, which creates the primary channel we will be using in this tutorial if it doesn't exist. The channel service loads channels. Here, we pass in a filter which asks for channels with the ID equal to talking about Angular, which is the channel we just created. We can create the chat UI by using the app component.html file. In this UI, we are adding a few components. The stream channel list is a list of all the channels we queried. The second part displays a single channel. The stream channel header displays the channel information on top. The stream message list displays all the messages and attachments. And the stream message inputs creates a text field to add our own messages and attachments. Last, we also add a stream thread component, which allows us to display a message thread associated with any message. The UI is now complete. However, it would look pretty terrible without any styling. Let's do that next. You can use the root style shade, styles.scss, to add some basic sizing, which will define the space taken up by the various components we've added in the HTML file. Additionally, we add the style sheet that the StreamChat Angular package provides, which does most of the heavy lifting for us on the component side. The last step before we run the project, we need to add an option to the tsconfig.json file. Add allow synthetic default imports to the compiler options since the stream chat library also uses them. And we're done. Let's run this thing. We can use the npm run command to run this project and it will provide a link for us to view it. Here you can see the project we've built. It has a channel list on the left, the message list in the middle. It has support for adding reactions to a message and starting a thread from a message. You can reply to a message which will show the message for context. The edit message option also allows you to edit the message. You can add attachments from the text field. In this case, let's add a bad artwork I created to the channel. And there you go, a fully working implementation of chat added to your project. You get all this functionality almost out of the box from the StreamChat Angular SDK. However, in most real-world scenarios, every project needs to follow certain themes and design guidelines. 
So what if you need to create your own component? Let's look at that next. To explore customization, let's start with a message. Let's create a simple custom component displaying the name of the sender and message content. We use the ng-generate-component command to generate a message component. We can then modify this component to take a stream message object as an input. This holds the data of the received message. We can now modify the template to change the UI of the message. For now, we will keep it a simple name and message text. We then need to add this custom template to the app component.html file to provide it to the custom template service. The last step is to modify the app component.ts file and register the custom template in the ng after view init method. The result of this is a message list view which only displays the two things we told it to. This isn't a very pretty list, but you can now modify it however you want to. You can also customize other components like the channel preview with the same method. Please check out the full link tutorial on the Stream website for additional information and examples. We hope you've enjoyed this introduction to using Stream Chat in Angular. For more information and to get started building your own chat and feeds applications, visit getstream.io.